Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are playing Roguelike Fridays. And again, I've been off by a day, so sorry guys, today is Saturday, but this is for Friday. And we're back with Unreal World. I thought I'd jump back in because 3.16 has gone free. So anybody that has seen my previous episodes can load up 3.16 now for free, both through IMDB and at his website. Uh, right down here. Oh, that's not the website I usually go to, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, and we are creating a new character this time. I thought we could do a full tutorial and uh, go from there. Right from scratch. So, Christonian again. Hmm. I think we were the first one. Yeah, so here we go. Those who live in the Kuma live in the vast force. Well, I guess we went with Christonian this time, eh? Instead of the native name. Sorry about that, but that's okay. Southwest coast. Small villages. See, I don't think it matters. If we press F1, that's when you get the information. Hmm. I think one of these is one of the best ones up here, I can't remember. Ah, let's go with that. Or can we random? Okay, and we'll go mail because we don't want to be random on that. See if there's any more pictures. Oh, that seems to be one new one. Ah, let's go with a new one. Uh, we want to start in spring, and that's not bad. Not bad stats at all. Fear of blood, though, so I don't want that. So we want to reroll, because blood, don't want to black out when we get into a fight or we get hurt. Fear of canines. That one's not too bad either, because the likelihood of getting into a fight with keen canines is very small. Okay, so that one is not bad either. Hmm, let's just go f for a couple rerolls. Horses is one of the best because it's highly unlikely that you're going to actually uh, meet a horse. So what I'm just gonna try to do is try to get strength and endurance high Fear of felines. Ah, let's go with it. We got excellent touch and excellent eyesight. Dexterity, agility down, speed down. Ah, let's go again. This is always the biggest process, I find. Fear of blood again. I don't want that. Let's try to get a balanced character going here. There, that's not too bad. And all the other bars. Fear of mice and rodents. That's funny. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm 70 inches high and 146 pounds. It's not bad. Permission to sleep and favorable of trap. Too bad there wasn't a way to reroll this. Because there's like some really good. Uh, um, some really good uh, prayers out there. Hmm. Surprised I haven't been able to pick my story first. So you want to increase fishing. Because uh, it's just one of those things. Oh, plus and negative. There we go. This is the first time with that adequate novice, competent, etc. on the side. So, I think it was fishing, timber craft, survival, carpentry. I don't know if I care about carpentry or not. Hmm. Not bad skill wise. There's nothing I'm 
like terrible then, weapon wise. Uh, tracking. Increase that a little bit. Make it skilled. Yes, I'm happy with that. And you guys can yell at me if it's a terrible start, but that's okay. Okay, we want to randomize our cultures. And maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. I'm going to go into the dark blue this time over here. Hopefully. Or I don't know. We'll see. So this little square here that's jumping around, that is where you spawn. Mm, that's not too bad. It's within the square. I'm going to see if I can get one out here on the islands. Might kill my character, but hey. Let's see, there's a chance it could take forever. Like I said, this is always the longest process, character creation. To start him where you want. Truly, though, to uh, test you, test yourself, you should be just pressing randomize once and going with that. So let's start there, because we got a little bit of blue and dark blue. So that's not bad. Okay, so randomize, or re-randomize the world. Huh. We could have done that also. Yeah, so see how this is an excellent location where it kind of overlaps both? If I re-randomize the world, I actually get to stay in that location, but it'll randomize where the camps are and the cultures. And you can't even see, but the the Nijerp, the bad people are over here. You can see them behind the the legend. Oh, what happened? Oh, I pressed enter. I had to press something else. Dang it. Watch, it'll take forever to get over there again. I just don't want to be clicking it too fast because I've done it before when I was creating characters. Because if you go too fast, you'll go by the one that you want. Come on. Oh, that one would have been not too bad. That's not too bad. And I think if we go cultures, and then let's do a zoom in, and over. As long as there's not a big river in the way, and there is. See how those are cities and those are roads in between the, ro the villages? We can't get around that river without making a boat. So, let's zoom out again, culture, and let's randomize the world this time. And we should keep the location, and we did. The yellow came a lot closer that time. Uh, let's zoom in right on a river region. That's not too bad because I could travel completely south. Mm, one more, let's see. Again, a big river in between us and culture. Oops. We could have probably went with that one and I pressed the wrong button. Keep it going, keep it going. Mm -mm. That's about half and half. Let's do it. Okay, E to enter the world. Here we go. Is there anything else there? Nope, doesn't look like there's any new starting, so I'm just going to be a fisherman because I want to survive at least for a decent part of it. Press any key, 
and let's do two because we'll uh, try to go through the tutorial again because it's always interesting to learn so I want to start says your scenario that you picked was I want to be a fisherman which is what we picked so it says to go to a water source and press Q so let's get in game here and I think I have to turn my numpad off there we go so I'm just looking around oh I don't have the graphics mod on this so this is what the Unreal World actually looks like without any graphical changes. So what we want to do is we're traveling straight south. And whenever you hit a high point like that, you want to rotate a boat. And let's actually look at our stuff. So we got ourselves a hunting knife, a fine speared, a bastard sword, holy moly, rough short bow, five arrows, a club, and another spear. Holy moly, killing machine woolen foot rags, linen trousers, and a fur hood. <laughs> so really I'm running around naked with just a pair of shoes, crappy tr trousers, and a hood of all things. We have two wheat bread, one dried stag out, and three hair cuts. Oh no, dried stag cut. Durr. Okay. Now let's go forward. Swamps are a good location for finding some game because you can see for far, far distances. I think this was all part of that map. If you guys remember when the world was generating, you could see this weird swampy. That's what the was uh, created when we were uh, spawning this world. So we'll go over here. So this is a very small lake. We're gonna quaff some water. So there you go. Task complete. So again, now it wants us to zoom in, go to a closer look. I think we're far away from that. We're doing okay. So let's just eat this. Oh, uh, what's it allowing me to do? Oh, because I'm in, maybe I didn't need to control it. Either. No. Hmm. Having a brain fart here, but let's just keep going forward. We're trying to find our first city, so let's just push forward. Oop. Let's get up on some of these mountains here. Takes a little bit more energy, but hey, you get to look around. There we go, first city. Let's climb this mountain. There's some roads. There's another city. Nothing. Some waterways. There we go, there's another city, and it's a pretty good size city, too. I actually like this spot right here. A little lake in the middle of the city area. And there's a capital with a, or whatever you want to call it. Pretty much a capital, it has a wall. Like, what else could it be? There we go. I wonder if that's actually like horse or something. It's kind of weird to have a, unless it's an animal st standing just so close to the village. Okay, so accomplished a uh, closer look. 
move it a square again. Now we're on picking up. So it wants us to pick up an item. I just wanted to see if there was any tracks or something. Or if it's actually really a place where they sell some animals. Yep, there's a pen over here. Doesn't look like uh because the picture looked like a stag or something like that. I think it's uh, shift T. Nope. Alt T. Human tracks, southwest. So here's a tool place. Got a fine shovel here, a broad axe that we could trade for. We have that broadsword that we don't need, but might be able to. I love the way my guy looks. Awesome. So, say, let me think of a deal again. Hmm, how can I get multiple items? I don't think I can. Let's say a club. It's not interested in a club. Um, do, do, do. We don't have anything else to trade. So picking up says great job. Okay, make a fire. So this is Christonian here playing Unreal World. If you guys want to see more of this, please tell me. Because you never know, I might get back into it. It's 3.16, and I hope you guys roguelike Fridays. Feel free to uh, comment, subscribe, and like as always. This is Christonian here, signing off for now. Bye!